plaintiff, Paulita Gordon, says the defendant was her Chicago step dance instructor, and they soon started dating and had a child. However, Paulita left the defendant because he's an abusive drunk, and she's suing him today for the value of a car. Defendant Charles Cook says Paulita was the abusive, controlling one who constantly accused him of cheating, and now she uses their son against him. He's countersuing for the value of a truck. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Math is presiding. You may now be seated. Start with you. Okay, Your Honor, I met Mr. Cooks in 2010. I had just lost my father that year. My son went off to the military. So I had a great loss. So um, his 20 year difference was really not a big deal. I thought maybe I needed some maturity. We met at a club. So I was uh, there with my cousin and everybody was swinging out. So I don't know if you're familiar with Chicago swing, but. Well, I know about Chicago step. Stepping, that's it. Okay. So in Texas, we call it swinging. Okay. And so he was an instructor. Then I hired him to be my instructor because I wanted to learn away from everybody else. So I wanted private lessons, so mm -hmm. I hired him. And uh, uh, to What happened? He started turning this way. Let me show you. Start yeah. touching that body. Yeah. Let the music move you. Close Let your your music eyes. move you. That's yeah. the baby. Yeah. But that's what he did. <laughs> He was, he was really smooth. So you close your eyes and let the music move you. There you go. <laughs> he was really smooth, really smooth on the dance floor. So two years later, we had a son. Now I want to know, you don't jump too quick. How long after you started that first in-house dance routine did you all get together and who hit on who? I'm well, sure he did the hit. He, 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 he absolutely did. He told me that he saw me as soon as I walked through the door that night. So I found that out later on, that uh, he already had eyes on me. So uh, he went in for the kill and he got. And you all dated how long? We dated for about two years, about okay. two years. Yeah, um, our son was born in July of 2012. All right. Why did you all break up? We broke up because, you know, the, the partying, the drinking constantly didn't stop. I mean, he, he, he kept going. And, and I thought that after we had our son that it would kind of slow down, and, and it didn't. And it became think, uh, an abusive think relationship. he's a womanizer? Absolutely. He's, okay. he's, I talked to women that he's dated in the past that were like, hey, girl, before you were even born, you know, he was womanizing and assaulting women. So Let me hear from him with some background first, and then I'll get back to you. You're lucky man if you got a bunch of young girls like her chasing after you and you're unmarried. If you're married, you're not so lucky. You yeah. are under a lot of well, pressure. I was married once. Once? Once? Yeah. All right. You know why? Yeah, because I was ready to get married at the time. No, you know why you're no longer in book? Yeah, because it was family. No, because women. No, family. Yeah. No, it was family. You tell me. You tell yeah. me about your, uh, the respond to the things she said. If you Well, like. I did meet her in 2010, and uh, uh, we did, you know, date until we had a son mm -hmm. and everything. What happened? Well, she started accusing me of things that I know I didn't do. Yeah, I'm a okay. dancing instructor. You know a lot of people. I don't only just teach women. I teach men's too. So she took it and took it to another level. Okay, you did. So it started being abusive towards me. So I couldn't deal with that anymore. Abusive after in what way? Um, being controlling. She was trying to control it, everything that I'd done. You can't do this. I'm going to do this. You can't do this. So after my son was born, she used that against me. I'm going to throw him on you. That's the way I've taken it. What does that mean? Uh, when she had to go somewhere, she was just dropping, not calling me, say, okay, well, what you got to do? Okay, I got to go to work. Well, I got to go to work, too. But Okay, here's some clothes. Here's no right notice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So from that point on, it just started getting worse than that. So the, she got into some more relationship with guys that abused my son. I brought CPS in it twice. This is after you all had stopped seeing This is family. after, yes. But we had a 50-50 you know, Visitation. with the kids. Custody. Mm -hmm. That changed real quick. You going to do this or this, or I'm going to snatch him this, you know, like that. Start playing, putting the son in the middle? In the middle. Or the he's child in, in the, the middle, middle right now. He's in the middle playing right now. Playing games? Yeah, he's in the middle. He's in the hospital right now. 
From what? Uh, got him in the psych ward. Okay. I can't visit my son, but they can call me and I give them information, but I can't call them and get no information. How old is he now? Nine. I try to get in contact with her. Can't get no contact. This first contact I've had in two weeks. We met at a club. So I was uh, there with my cousin, and everybody was swinging out. So I don't know if you're familiar with Chicago Swing, but... Well, I know about Chicago Step. Stepping, that's it. Okay. Plaintiff Paulita Gordon has a child with the defendant, but she claims she left him after he assaulted her and threatened her life. Okay. Well, ma'am, I yeah. do want to get this um, addressed. Uh, what he's saying about child, that's more important to me than what we're Thank doing you. here today. Your, so what do you want to say to that? Your Honor, un unfortunately, our son mm -hmm. has behavioral issues and he is in a behavioral hospital. He decided to act up in school and make some threats against some people, true um, um, his style in, in terms of, of being aggressive and abusive to others. And so that is why he is there because the school recommended it is not because of me. It is not. And I have not heard from Mr. Mm -hmm. Cooks in weeks. In fact, he stopped yeah, talking yeah. to me and um, I couldn't find him. Well, how would he know about the son? lawsuit? How would he know about the I have no son? idea, Your Honor. He, he refused to accept my phone calls. He refused to talk to me. Um, I object that. You know, and, and, and Your Honor, if, if I could. How did you find out? I kept calling and kept calling. I called the mother at first. The mother said, well, I don't know. Now, to try to get in contact with her. I called. She said, this is her number. I called. So I kept calling the hospital and calling the hospital. How did you know he was in the hospital? Through her mother. Okay. I called with looking for him because I gave got He got a phone. Okay. For me to stay in contact with him. He wouldn't answer the phone no more. All right. And she said she hadn't heard from you. You say you had. And now you know how he knows. Yes. Um, sure. All right. And Your Honor, so mm -hmm. the, re the, race, the relationship actually ended, and I do have proof here, because of an abuse um, situation that kept going. Tell Whenever me. he drinks, he decides to be abusive. And at, when Charlie, our son, was three months old, I decided that I did not want that anymore. I did not want that lifestyle. And still today, he continues to go out. He continues to drink. He continues to date younger women and your honor I, I you know I, I had I feel like Charlie needs more support and stability in his life Charlie was supposed to be in football this year dad decided not to take him drove by dad's house Objective. he's in the yard drinking partying playing dominoes child's supposed to be in football practice dad refuses to take him so I I, I want a better life for Charlie that? yes sir I can't take him if I don't know where he's at Every time that I can't take him, she takes him to his her mother's house and leave him. If I don't keep calling him, we're mother, referring to football practice. Okay, football, football practice. I just got the message of that maybe last month. He said, "Daddy, I need you to take me to football." I said, "How can I? I don't have no transportation right now." He said, "Tell your mama to take you." You don't have transportation. I don't have transportation. How you see all your women? They come over. Well, I don't see them, but they be gonna walk by. I see them. <laughs> if them the ones I supposed to have, have women, <laughs> if them the one I was supposed to have, and I don't have no, I have a lady. Okay, and she doesn't have a car. She does. She have a car now. She time. have a car, but I just moved from there because she didn't renew the lease that was in her name. Oh, the lease was in her name, but the apartment was supposed to be for me. The young lady that you? No, me. Oh, with her? No, not with her. By my live by myself there two years. And whose name was the apartment? Mine. Okay, You're no, I was saying the woman that, the lady that you had. I just moved there 30 she, days. Okay, I was just wondering would she. Yeah, 30 days. You all I've have been, been with together her more than 30 days, right? Yeah, but she she go to work early in the morning. Right, you could drop her off. Yeah. And then you guys have suffered yeah. some inconvenience for something so important for your son. Now, you say he assaulted you? I, I'm not going to skip past that. Yes, sir. He did absolutely assault me. Tell me what happened. Me. Um, I, I was tired of the lifestyle. I was tired of the drinking. And, you know, his his family is a, a, a big family and they like to party. Nothing wrong with that if that's what you like to do. However, at you have a three month old in the house. You're not partying all the time. And I heard one night after a get together that we had at a 
the house that we were both living in, him and his sister contemplating um, what they were going to do if I decided to put him out because I was tired of it. Object, so I right. came outside. I addressed the issue with him. He grabbed a garden tool and started swinging at me, telling me he was going to kill me. And Object that's how the that. assault started. And after that, no longer. I had nothing else to do Ooh. with him after that, Your Honor. All right. What happened with the car you saw? So with the car, I was in Seattle at an educational convention. And yes, the boys were with him. So I had an apartment so that we could effectively co-parent. I had the apartment in my name because he could not get an apartment in his name. The boys had their own bedroom. I left the boys with him for the weekend. True cook style. He's going to go out and party and drink. Hopped in my car, dropped the boys off at my mother's. They were supposed to be with him for the weekend. So no son father time he drops them off so he can go to the club totaled Objective my car that. hit he the, totaled your car he totaled my car he hit another vehicle he hit another vehicle and then hit the Objective concrete that. pavement or the concrete median totaled my car and not only that he jumps out that car they tow they tow the car to the pound well he takes my keys and go hops in my other car at my house. So it wasn't enough that he wrecked that car. He when went and jumped in another car and took it. And I have proof of that, Your Honor. Object Promise that. me that he would fix it. Promise me I'll get what it do you fixed. Say to this, sir? Okay, the, when I had that accident in that car, it wasn't my fault. I was cut off on the freeway. I hit a guard red. I didn't hit another car. And after that, the, I asked the officer, could I drive it off to? off the street. He said, no, it can't be moved. I said, well, I drove it out of the middle of the street. So I had to leave it there. I didn't leave, but the officer took me where I was going. We had at uh, the house that we were both living in, him and his sister contemplating um, what they were gonna do if I decided to put him out, because I was tired of it. Object. So I came outside, I addressed the issue with him. He grabbed a garden tool and started swinging at me, telling me he was gonna kill me. And Object that's how the that. assault started. And after that, no longer. I had nothing else to do Good. with him after that, Your Honor. All right, what happened with the car you're suing about? Plaintiff Paulita Gordon has a child with the defendant. But she claims she left him after he assaulted her and threatened her life. Did you have permission to take? Yes, sir. The cars were at, the car was at my house every day. That's the car that I use every day. I take that's true, ma'am. No, sir. Absolutely I got with not. It, but I, they not. Well, we're gonna. She got communications. Yeah. Yeah. She yeah. was gonna direct me to yeah. uh, once I let you give your testimony. Yes, so give your testimony, okay. and then uh, I'll look the at the communications. Was, the, the car was with me every day. Mm -hmm. I take my son to school. I picks him up. Mm -hmm. I take him to all his doctor's appointment. You know, everything that I do, she'll go to the school if I'm trying to get some things right, go cuss the teachers and stuff out. Why you got to do that? I already took care of that. You know, I can take care of it. Why I need you there right now? Crazy. If I can handle it, why you go cuss the teachers out, okay? Okay, now for the car. The car with me every day. I heard you, and I'm glad you keep saying it over and over because yeah, the essence of what you're saying, what saying is you have total authority and control yeah, over the car, not. similar to ownership, and owners yes, pay sir. for their own damage. Yeah. I thank you for continuing to reiterate yes, that. Thank you. Now I can go back to her yes, for any sir. communications. Yes, sir. You've taken uh, responsibility yes, because sir. the car is with you every day. Okay. I have total authorization over it. It's always with me, so you effectively own it. Yes, sir. And nobody should pay bills for something you do for to your property. Yes. This is your property. You pay your own. Go ahead. So um, he promised to fix the car. He he's a he's a mechanic. He works on the side, so he doesn't have to pay child support, which is twenty thousand dollars behind in. So he does little odds and end jobs, and he's good at it. He said, "I'll fix the car. Don't worry about it. When my stimulus come, I'll fix the car. I'm still on him." Well, June, he rolls up in a Mustang. I'm like, oh, "Who's this Mustang?" Uh, I bought it. Oh, so you went and bought you a car instead of fixing the car that my son left for the middle son. So my son, who's in the military, left this vehicle to give to my middle child for his 16th birthday. Now he has no car to give his brother. I have no car to pass down because he decided to go to the Did club. Did you ever agree to pay, sir? I said I would pay some of it mm -hmm. because I don't feel that, you know, that I would do it the whole thing she owed me for a truck. Did the police come to the scene? Police came to that scene on the freeway. Have a report? No, sir. They didn't write a report. Did you get a ticket? 
No, sir. Okay, so we don't really know because there's nothing in writing. All I can do is take your word for yes, it. Yes, sir. All right. And you believe that if you keep a, house, a car at your house every day, you have total authority over it. When something happens to it, you don't have to pay the uh, person who uh, who took the loss. No, sir. I didn't, I didn't mean it like that. I mean that I'll pay some of it. Now, she sold a truck of mine with no permission while I did 120 days behind something that she when said. When was that? Uh, uh. I can't even remember that. You can't that. even remember. Yeah, but That's I can remember when she sold the, my truck. What you don't know the month or the year or anything? Two thousand. Is that your counter? Two thousand. Two thousand fifteen. And that's what you're counting someone for? We my truck, 4700. For something that happened in 2015? My truck. She sold a truck. Okay, no you ever permission. heard of the statute of limitations? What is the statute of limitations? Two years. Okay. All right. So, what do you have where he says he's going to pay for some or all? What no, you know, page is I that? Have, oh, I have, my I goodness, have, this looks horrible. I have on page eight um, of my evidence, Your Honor, where he says that he will take it and he will make it right. I have on page seven as well that he will make it right, that he will fix this this problem and get that car running for my son. Um, and nope, he, he on page six, Your Honor, I have where he actually admitted to wrecking the car. And if you will see on page six, Your Honor, I told him, I said, you have some nerve to wreck my car, then go get in another one. How dare you? This is my text to him. What'd he say? And he said, oh, why are you going off on me? It wasn't my accident. I could have been dead. I could have been dead. I'm happy that I got the boys out of there first and there wasn't in, they weren't in the car with me. I'm so sorry that it happened. I will try to do what I can to make it right. Don't be going off on me in front of people. I wasn't in front of anybody. I was. I am there for you. <laughs> Somebody there for you at all costs. At all costs. <laughs> I just say that. I'm reading it. Oh, Jesus. I said that I would go half. I'm looking at it. Oh, that's what you say. Yeah. I'm reading it. Oh, Tell okay. me where you said half. Tell me where your evidence is to say half. The call with me every day. I heard you, and I'm glad you keep saying it over and over because yeah. the essence of what you're saying, what saying is you have total authority and control Absolutely over the car, not. similar to ownership, and owners yes, pay sir. for their own damage. Yes, I thank you for continuing to reiterate yes, that. Thank you. Now I can go back to her yes, for any sir. communications. Plaintiff Paulita Gordon has a child with the defendant, but she claims she left him after he assaulted her and threatened her life. Her evidence says all, and that's why you won't pay all. $5,000 <laughs> is your judgment. Thank you. Your evidence says he agreed to pay for it all. He says that he only agreed to pay half, but he has no way to prove that. Out of all these communications, you showed me about eight pages of communications. And all those eight pages, all I saw with regard to who's paying is you saying that you're going to pay all of it. And he agreed to pay for it, whether he was negligent or not, whether a third party caused it. He agreed to reimburse you. You say he took it without your permission. Now I believe that. So if he took it without your permission, he has responsibility for what happens after taking it. Have a good day. Your claim is dismissed. That's for the claim. I just want to say, you know, this is this is for your son. I did everything I could. I put you in an apartment. I did everything I could to make sure that you were a good father to your son and you totally abused it. She need to start letting me see my son like she's supposed to, give him his phone back and everything. I and mean, I can deal with this here. I can deal with this, but I won't deal with you again. I deal with my son.